Hello and welcome to this video about Double Helix lessons from CSIRO. Today I'm going to take you through how to edit a lesson. One of the great things about Double Helix lessons is that it is curriculum complete and ready to implement into your classroom right away. But there might be occasions where you may wish to edit some of the content and add in your own flavor. For example, I spoke to a teacher whose school was near a wetlands and she wanted to be able to add in areas to the adaptations unit where students can add in their own field notes and photos from recent field trips. And thanks to the style platform, this is very simple to do. Throughout the platform, you will see editing tools which are very similar to the tools you're already familiar with in other software and word processing um, softwares. So, let's get started. First, we, once we are in the lesson that we want, the unit that we want to edit, let's click on the first lesson and take a look at some of the editing tools that are available to us. Note that you need to be in teacher mode to see these editing tools. Students are unable to. I'll just flick to students to show you the difference. We've got the blue banner at the top and no editing tools around any of the content that we can see. Whereas when I go back to teacher view, we have the green banner at the top, we have an edit tool up here, and some other edit tools on each of the content types throughout the lesson. So the first thing you may wish to do is change the cover image. You may wish to use an image from your school's surrounds or your classroom just to give the, your kids that personalized flavor. You may wish to change some of this intro text, in which case all you need to do is click on the edit button and some tools will pop up, just like you might see in Microsoft Word, bold, italic, and so on. And you can type straight into this box, volcanoes in Australia? Well, yes, there are. And once you're happy with that, you can press done. But before I do that, I also just want to point out that since you've changed the text, you may wish to change the narration on this text. So all you do is click on this link and press start recording if your laptop or computer has a microphone, or you can upload an existing audio file of your new text. This will just help students who might have some reading difficulties. They can just listen to the text rather than read it. Once you're happy, click done. And now you'll see my new text has been saved. You can edit all kinds of content type. For example, you can also edit videos. Again, press edit. And perhaps you wish to choose a different video. If you click on choose a different video, that'll take you to YouTube and then you can select your new video. But in this instance, perhaps I just want this video to be a bit shorter. Currently, it is at 40, just over 43 seconds. So I just want to trim it back a bit and you can just grab one of these toggles and literally pull them until you are at the spot where you want the video to end. Same with the starting toggle. I don't want this bit. So I'm going to just pull it until it, the video is at the point where I want it to start. And once you're happy with that, press done. I'm going to discard my changes though because I've just changed my mind and decided the video is really good after all. The other thing you can do is also delete content and it's pretty simple to do that. If you click on the more button you can just simply hit delete and that content will go away. Or perhaps you want to copy that content or duplicate it which you can do very easily here too. A side-by-side -side layout just means that where content like this, for example, doesn't need to take up the whole space, you can actually fit something else over here to the right. But I don't want the side-by-side -side layout, so I'm going to remove that again. Great. Now, one other thing that we can do is decide whether a lesson is assessed or unassessed. 
Up at the top here, you have an orange tab that says assessed on it, that indicates that there are marks available for some of the questions in this lesson, and that those marks will end up in the mark book, which is a topic we will go through in another video. And to change whether it's assessed, we simply click on the change word next to the word assessed. And here you will see the two options, not assessed, and you can see what that means, and assessed, and you can see that what that means here as well. And once you're happy with whether it's assessed or not assessed, press save. Finally, one of the last things that we can do is decide whether we want to set a due date for this particular lesson. So you may wish for, to get your students to complete it by the end of the week. Simply click, click edit at the top here, where you can, by the way, also edit the heading of your lesson. And here you'll see due on for all students. Let's select a due date. I would like it done before Christmas, please. I'm very mean. And you can even select what time you want it done by. Now, if you are teaching multiple classes, you may wish to only select a due date for one of your classes. So if you click, I want to set a single due date, uh, sorry, a due date for one of my classes, then you will see all three of your classes pop up here and you can actually set different dates for each class. Once you're happy with your due dates, simply press save. Okay, well, now that you know how to edit your lessons, you are ready to go teaching your brand new personalized content for your class. Watch other videos to get other tips and tricks on how to use Double Helix lessons from CSIRO. Thank you.